so good. Organic bananas, water, organic cane sugar, a little bit of barley grass powder, just have some later around. Top stuff, just sugared up smoothie. Mm. Mm. This takes me about 20 minutes to eat, half an hour, no rush. Great thing to have at work, in your flask. Don't need to have lunch break. Sit behind the computer, keep working while you're eating. That's, fair. That's productivity. Question of the day was, uh, I enjoy the fully raw lifestyle, but you need to be fully loaded to do a fully raw lifestyle. So I'm referring to uh, a lot of the girls out there doing the fully raw lifestyle, Christina, you know, Ravana, etc. Fully loaded up. Awesome. Fantastic. Uh, they have personal maids. So another said question, do you need a maid to do a fully raw lifestyle? No, you don't. No, you don't. You can't use... Because someone else is born in an affluent family and they've got maids like Christina and Ravana and some other girls have. That's that's cool. And if I, if I had a personal maid like those girls do, I'd probably be more productive as well because you wouldn't spend time in the kitchen doing your food prep. You could be doing other things. So I think that it's good that people have maids, personal assistants, nonnas, living carers, whatever you want to call them, maids, paid helpers, whatever you want to call it. It helps make your job easier. I don't have a maid, I don't have a, I don't have anybody, you know, Christine says, you don't have a maid, it's a personal assistant, whatever. So, so like, Christine says, I don't drive a Mercedes. It's like, yeah, it's a Porsche. <laughs> it's a Porsche Cayenne. And that's fine. You don't need to be fully loaded. I don't think people should hide the fact if they're fully loaded or whatever. But I understand what people do because people say, oh, but you're rich, I can't afford that. So it's, it's a tough one, isn't it? What do you do in those situations? Do you sort of tell half truths or just be honest and upfront and say, look, this is how it is, take it or leave it? I think the take it or leave it situation is better than spreading half truths. So you don't need a maid. If you have a maid, it's a bonus. You don't need to be fully loaded. If you are, if your dad's rich from working in an oil company or whatever, it's a bonus. At least you're using that money to put it towards good things. So I would say that I lived on welfare. I lived homeless on welfare. I was so broke, I used to water fast between welfare checks. Most of my fast, a few days here and there, was because I had no money to fucking eat. <laughs> and I was living in Australia. And I wanted to have good food, because good food in Australia, it costs a lot of money. And I could forage and stuff, but that sort of stealing depends where you are and what's going on. But, you know, so I was basically, I thought, I want the fruit, but I can't afford fruit and rent. So I'm homeless, which I was like, well, think of it, it's not too bad at all, because... I like riding my bike and being outdoors anyway. So it wasn't, wasn't you know, when I say homeless, it wasn't like I hated it. Basically, if you're homeless, it's by choice. Especially in the Western economy, it's by choice. So I spent my welfare money on my fruits. And now, no worries. Um, it's, the fruit quality in Australia has dropped off a lot in the last 10 years since I've been in this lifestyle. Uh, definitely dropped right off because there's a lot of fruit phobia here, people aren't buying the fruit, and they're not paying for it, so there's less and less farmers, the new generation, excuse me, the new generations are coming through, not into fruit, more into other things, uh, the whole I quit sugar, there's a real big anti-fruit movement in Australia right now, even you go to like a, a raw food potluck, they're like, oh, fruit, fruit's too, you know, so it's, it's, it's crazy, you go to the organic markets, people are like, oh, fruit's not good for you, too much sugar, they just fucking fat out space cadets on the I quit sugar program, I digress, you don't need to be fully loaded, you don't need a maid, if you have lots of money, if you have personal assistance helping you, that's a bonus, it's not something to look down on or frown upon and go, oh, I can't do that because that, no, be inspired, don't be, don't feel you can't do something because someone else is doing it or whatever, be inspired, go, well how can I make this situation a little bit better, you know, maybe I can move my location, if, I want this lifestyle, like I live in Adelaide, Australia in summertime because this is the best place in the world for me to train. I can live anywhere in the world, but I choose to live here. Yeah, I don't have kids, I don't have any debt, I don't have any real responsibilities, so it's easy for me to do that. I understand that, I understand. So if you've got kids, if you've got a mortgage, if you're in your job, it's, you can't just get up and leave as easy as I could. But what you can do is you can write down some personal goals for yourself that are realistic and align your life with your goals. Do that. Yeah? So don't give up and go, I can't do that. You can do something to improve your life, end of the day. So, so it's your life, it's your choices, make the most of it. See you soon.